the Vuelta a España this year once again offers a number of high profile riders the chance to salvage their season. Amongst them are Nairo Quintana and Alberto Contador. Yes, they had great results at the start of the year, but both were disappointed at their big aim, the Tour de France. Contador crashed out, of course, and Nairo Quintana performed below his expectations. At the other end of the spectrum, though, a number of young riders will be looking to make their mark for the very first time at a Grand Tour. And here are six of those to watch out for. Hola. The Vuelta will be the first Grand Tour for young AG2R rider Pierre Roger Latour. And he's already shown huge promise in the last two seasons, despite only just coming up to his 23rd birthday. So he's had top five overall in races such as the Criterium International, the Vuelta Burgos and the Tour de la. And he's also briefly led the Tour de Suisse this year before falling ill. A former runner-up in the Tour de France, Jean-Christophe Poirot, will no doubt be able to guide him through the three-week tour. And without a doubt, I think we'll see this young rider attacking on the hillier stages. Whilst Latour didn't actually finish La Tour de Suisse, Miguel Angel Lopez of Astana actually went on to win that race overall. Now, was it a surprise? Well, not really, although it was clearly his biggest win to date. Big things have always been expected from the rider nicknamed Superman. Yeah, they certainly have, not just because of his nickname either. He actually won the Tour de l'Avenir back in 2014, just like compatriots Quintana and Esteban Chavez before him. There's no doubt at all in our minds that he will finish on the podium of a Grand Tour in the not too distant future. Whether he can do it now? Actually, we wouldn't bet against it. He may be one of the youngest riders at this year's race, but that does not mean that Hugh Carthy has anything to fear. After all, he was rubbing shoulders in the mountains with Nairo Quintana at the Route du Sud just before this year's Tour de France. In fact, it was that, along with a string of other top-level results, including a win at the Vuelta Asturias, which drew the attention of Cannondale Drapak, and it's with them that he will ride for the next two years. Yeah, a rangy climber, Carthy will make his Grand Tour debut for the Spanish team that he's ridden for for the last couple of years, Caja Rural, and the stage win is a distinct possibility. And do you know what, Dan? I think he might even nudge the top ten. Mm. The only non-climber on our list is Niccolo Bonifacio. Now, we recently featured him on the GCN show when he did a very cool stoppy. But his talents certainly extend far further than that. Yeah, they do. He's not even 23 years of age yet, but he's already had eight wins as a professional rider. Most recently, this stage at the Tour of Poland in July. Now, like many others on our list, the Vuelta will be his first Grand Tour of his career. And with all of the big name sprinters absent this year, he's got a great chance, like Hugh Carthy, of taking a stage win, but on a very different stage indeed. And he'll also get good support from his team, Trek Segafredo. The most experienced rider on our list is Simon Yates of Oracle Bike Exchange, despite being just 23 years of age. And that's because he's actually already ridden two Grand Tours. Both of those were the Tour de France. He finished one year, he pulled out the other. His best placing on a stage so far, though, has only been eighth, despite really getting stuck in and animating some of the hillier stages. Now, we're still including him on this list because we think this is his opportunity to really shine. And a stage win and a high overall GC placing are definitely within the realms of possibility, especially given the performance of his brother Adam in this year's Tour de France. Now, that three-month suspension for that administrative error is behind him. So, we'll be looking to make the most of every opportunity that presents itself for the rest of the season. First-year pro Matvey Mamakin will be one of the youngest riders on the start line in Lorenzi at only 21 years of age. Now, he spent the first part of the season riding some hillier stage races in the service of Joaquin Rodriguez and Ilna Zakarin. But of late, he's had some very consistent performances of his own. Yeah, he was 14th overall at a particularly tough edition of the Tour of Poland and followed that up just a couple of weeks ago with 8th place overall at the Vuelta a Burgos. Now, the Russian team, Katusha, don't really come with one of their heavyweight GC riders and that should mean that Mamikin gets plenty of his own chances over the course of the three weeks. So those are our six up-and-coming riders to watch out for at this year's Vuelta. A couple of sneaky names that I'm going to put in now. Former under-23 world champion and teammate of Mamikin, Sven Erik Bistrom, will also make his Grand Tour debut at this race. And his compatriot, Norwegian compatriot, should I say, at FDJ, Odd Christian Eiking, does the very same thing. He's one to watch out for in the climbs. Gustav should be a fantastic race. Mm. And uh, for a little bit of a preview of the race itself, how about clicking just up here for our Vuelta preview show? Or, in the bottom corner, is the latest GCN show. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. All you've got to do for that is to click on the globe.